I'm Dean Edwards, and I'm constantly on the lookout for exciting new flavors. And one of my newest discoveries is yuzu. This is actually the juice, but it's actually a fruit from East Asia. It has elements of mandarin, lime, really zesty and fragrant. You may have seen it in cocktail bars up and down the country, but you may not cook with it. So I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious quinoa and prawn salad with a yuzu dressing. Now, first and foremost, let's start with the quinoa, because this takes the longest cooking time. Now, I love this stuff. Now, it's a source of fiber and protein. It's a whole grain, but it's really, really good to substitute for rice or couscous. Dead simple to cook too. I'm gonna to pop this into a pan, along with some stock. Now, the reason I'm using stock is I'm trying to introduce a little bit more flavor into this. So while that ticks away, let's start to introduce some flavor into our prawns. Now, I'm using some of the yuzu juice, and it's not just great for salad dressings, it's good for marination as well. So, get about a teaspoon into your prawns. Just give it a little bit of a shake, just to make sure the prawns are covered. So let them do their thing while we prep the rest of our ingredients. Now, I'm gonna use a mango, because it adds a beautiful fruity element to this dish. So I'm gonna take a cheek off of this, missing the stone. Then just use your knife and just go in a crisscross pattern all the way, open it up, and then use your knife just to kind of follow the shape and just cut off these cubes and then just run your knife through it until you get nice bite-sized piece chunks. Okay, so that goes in there. So another element I'm adding to this dish for a lovely little bit of crunch of flavor is some spring onion. So I'm just gonna use my knife and just very finely slice these spring onions. Okay, so onto my dressing now. So in this little jar here, I've got some rapeseed oil, and the oil will carry the rest of the flavors. So into that, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of the yuzu, and about a tablespoon of white balsamic. Now, the reason I'm using white balsamic is all about the color. I wanna keep the vibrancy, the rest of the ingredients, but if you've only got the dark balsamic, that's absolutely fine to cook with that. Lid on, and I'm gonna give it a big shake. And that's ready to dress our salad. So my quinoa is cooked now. I'm just going to drain it off. And this really does benefit from just letting it sit there and steam for a few minutes. In the meantime, I can cook my prawns. So I'm going to add a splash of rapeseed oil into my pan. I've got the pan really nice and hot as well because I want these prawns to cook really, really quickly. So pop those into the pan and it will take no more in a couple of minutes just to be lovely, golden and caramelised. In the meantime, I've got some flat leaf parsley, so I'm just going to rip some of that off and just finely shred it up. This will add a lovely vibrancy and flavour. Okay, so that's ready to go. Just give our prawns a toss. So my prawns are done now. It's all about building the dish. So get yourself a nice big bowl. In with our quinoa. Then we've got our lovely fresh herbs and spring onion. Some of our lovely mango, which are gonna add that sweetness to the dish. It's all about a balance of flavors. We've also got some pine nuts going in to add a little bit of bite and some mixed seeds. Now, give our dressing a little bit of a shake. Pour that over the top. It's gonna to be absolutely fantastic, vibrant flavors. A good stir, then this goes into my serving bowl. And the smells that are coming off of this are unbelievable. So I'm gonna to top with some of these lovely golden prawns. So just pop those on top. And there we have it. That is real fast food, really delicious, and most of all, really, really simple. And there we have my quinoa and prawn salad with a yuzu dressing. Check out my other videos where I make a Korean-style street food feast and spiced parsnip cupcakes the whole family will enjoy.